Hi, my name is Sharon. I have been a practicum evaluator with VIP Kid for a few months now. I have been telling a lot of our candidates the same things over and over again. And I thought I would make this quick video so before you do your practicums, you can get the advice that I'm probably going to tell you later. Save yourself some time and it'll also make you better prepared for teaching students. The first thing I want to talk about is the method I do, we do, you do. A lot of our candidates are trying to explain the directions in difficult vocabulary using difficult sentence structures that beginner level students will not understand. So rather than saying, on this page we are going to circle the letter that is the first letter of the picture and the first question, you can simplify all of that by showing me. Just say, what do you see? Ask me what the picture is and then say, Mouse starts with M mm, and circle the M. Have them repeat back that sentence for you and you have shown them the directions. In this way, you'll save yourself time, you'll add clarity to your classroom, and you'll be better able to stay within your 25 minute time frame. As we go from I do, demonstrating the directions, we go to we do. I pull away my help a little bit. Instead of just having the student repeat back my sentences, I ask them the question, mouse starts with, and I get them to fill in the blank for me on the next one. I do, we do, you do, is where the student can do the activity on their own. And I can say, what does mouse start with? And they can give me the sentence, mouse starts with mm. This will give your students more speaking opportunities. It will appropriately challenge your student and it'll streamline your lesson so there's not so many different sentence structures, so many directions you're going, you can move through each activity smoother. Watch your teacher output. Just like we want students to be using complete sentences, we want teachers to be using complete sentences that are level appropriate. So by not explaining our directions in difficult words, you'll be bringing your language down to level appropriate words. Make sure you're also using target sentences. Every slide does not tell you to use a target sentence. We expect you to use them throughout your lesson. You should use target sentences and also elicit them from the student. Rather than saying, can you tell me the first letter in mouse? You can say, mouse starts with mmm and get the student to use that target sentence as well. We want to make sure beginner level students aren't inundated with lots of different sentence structures. So we ask, what do you see on every page, on every activity? A million times a class, I will ask, what do you see? Because this gets the student talking. And this is a sentence structure the students are becoming familiar with as we use it repeatedly. So on one question, I won't ask, what do you see? What is it? Can you tell me what that picture is? Those are three different sentence structures, which is a lot for the student to take in. Stick with one, what do you see, and use it over and over again so the student can easily turn that into a sentence, I see something. This will make it easier for the student and easier for you to get responses from the student. Speaking of responses from the student, we want students talking 70% of the time. You might be the only native speaker they talk with in the week. So make sure you're giving them lots of chances to talk. Not in one word answers though. If, I, if you say, what's your name? And I say, Sharon. You say, my name is Sharon, and get me to repeat the complete sentence answer. Every response from the student should be in a complete sentence. It's your responsibility to ensure and expect that from the student. Don't let them get away with silently drawing lines or circling things and saying nothing. Ask them, what do you see? To get them talking in complete sentences on every slide. We want you to get the student engaged in the classroom. When we're asking these complete sentence questions, getting complete sentence answers, we're involving them in the speaking way. You also want to be involving them with you and your personality. Be excited, be over the top and be silly. Bring in props, use TPR so they know when to listen, when to look, and when to say something. Make sure you are having fun and that will ensure that the student is also having fun. 
if you follow these guidelines, you will have much more success teaching your students and passing your practicums. Best of luck!